Hey, what's up you guys? It's Vega. Happy New Year. I'm back to tell you guys my top albums of 2020. I had a hard time deciding. I really didn't listen to a lot of albums. The ones I did listen to made it very difficult, especially because I don't stay in one genre exclusively. So we're going to start talking about Six Piece Hot, the EP that Black released. I love it. I It took a while to grow on me, I will say. Like, I mean, I listened to it the first time and I was like, I like this. And then I didn't listen to it for a long while. But recently, like over the past few months, I'm like, I keep coming back. Because I really like like each individual song. And specifically, Outside, Elephant in the Room, and Know My Rights, featuring Lil Baby, are my favorites on that one. But listening to it start to finish, it is so good. The man does not miss. He simply does not miss. He has not missed. East Atlanta Love Letter was one of my favorites of 2018, so I'm not surprised that he came back to claim another spot. And then we have a tie, I would call it. I mean, we'll get into the explanations in a second, but What Could Possibly Go Wrong by Dominic Fike was a big anticipated album for me. I mean, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Like even when he had gone on tour in 2019, I was like, where is this fucking album? Where is it? And then he delivered. He gave me everything I could possibly want. We got some pop, we got some rock, we got some rap, we got like a good mix of you know, every pot that he's thrown himself into, and he did a fantastic job. The sequencing of that album is great. It is paced well. I fucking love it. It was a big, big one that I waited for, and that made me excited, and then he delivered. And then we have Unlocked by Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats. I didn't even know that one was coming. And the whole, like, them beefing thing was such a fantastic way to roll it out because it's like, what the fuck is going on? And then it came out, and it was hitter after hitter after hitter. And the genuine excitement that I felt when that released, like, I have not gotten that at all for the, for the rest of 2020. There was not a single release where I was like, oh my god, as I'm listening through it, I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is crazy. So, like, it's a tie between those two, but I think Unlocked might have just a little bit more because of that like out of left field what is this and then listening to it and the whole time being like <laughs> you know but what could possibly go wrong definitely gave me like everything i could want i was like what is dominic gonna do i don't know and then he was like i'm gonna do a little bit of everything so those two were hard to pick between, but I do think Unlocked just has like, just a foot up. Just like literally, it's like they're racing and like Unlocked is right here and what could possibly go wrong is like right behind it, you know? Otherwise, honorable mentions here would be Manic by Halsey. She really like made something so emotional and vulnerable and incredible. Then we have Yo Hago Lo Que Me Da La Gana by Bad Bunny bops bops Bangers. it's so good la santa with him and daddy yankee i fucking i played the fucking wheels off of that song like i really did it was it was in my top 100 2020 spotify playlist and it was in like my self-made 2020 playlist a lot of these albums found their way into my top 100. And then we have to bring up Circles by Mac Miller. I can't make a top video of the year without bringing up that album. That would feel like a robbery. It was so good. It made me cry. I also need to talk about Dreaming of David by Ryan Beatty. That song created such like a great vibe. Like the... The vibes were just immaculate. The universe creating there, every song felt a certain way. And it felt like the album cover does, like dreamy and like you just get like transfixed into that universe. And I also played the wheels off of Casino and a few other songs on that album, but 
it has to be brought up because especially because I think it's the most different out of all the albums I listened to this year because I did listen to like a few rap albums. I listened to some pop stuff, but this doesn't give me like radio pop vibes. Like it gives me much more like that kind of like underground, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Kind of pop, that like dreamy, hazy pop. There's probably a name for it that I just like don't know, but yeah it has to be talked about because ryan really did his goddamn thing he did his goddamn thing with that album and i think it's definitely an underrated gem of 2020 but we had a good year 2020 was a good year for music what else was there to do other than make music and listen to music we literally were locked the fuck in all year so it was good to get some really like hard-hitting albums also i do want to bring up the deluxe version of limbo so good. Like, I li I liked the original, the non-deluxe, but the deluxe, those first few new songs were so fucking good. Amine just... Yes. Yes. There's a lot I didn't get fully through listening to in 2020, though. Like, I've listened to part of Rico's new album. I really like it. I've listened to like parts of a few other albums, but those are definitely my favorites. I would include singles I really liked here, but my 2020 playlist is literally like 200 and something songs long. If you want to look at that, it'll be in the description. Picking favorites from that is a little harder because there's so much to go through. And I had to clean that playlist up because there was stuff I just like straight up did not like that much that came out this year. And so I had to, you know, let it go. I also discovered a lot of really cool artists this year. And they're all going to be in that playlist too. There's a lot of new people that I came into contact with. Like Contra Dash, um, Alex, ALX, and uh, Madison Ryan. There were just some like really fucking good, good gems. Like people that I definitely would not have come across had it not been for either other artists that I listen to or because of TikTok. Like, I, I can't lie, TikTok was a catalyst for pushing out new shit this year. But that is all for me this time. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around this long. And as always, peace out.